Uh, hey guys, what's going on? This is Jeff Lenny, and I'm going to be showing you guys a really, really, really simple way of using keyword research to find your next blog post to, to write about. My voice crack. Wow. Puberty is wonderful, isn't it? So anyways, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to use keyword research using Google. So we're going to, first of all, we're going to look at our broad topic here, and we're going to do a search for weight loss. Now, you'll see here, if I uh, hit a space after that, it's going to give different suggestions based on what people are searching for. So I can do things like, you know, weight loss A to get the top four there. We need weight loss B, weight loss C, weight loss D. You know, start taking notes, um, start writing these things down. It's an amazing way to get some keywords people are searching for that you might not have thought of otherwise. And apparently Mama June lost weight. Good for her. So anyways, if we also move down to the very bottom here, you'll also find some other awesome keywords as well. There's eight keywords down here as well that are related to what you're blogging about or what you want to be writing about. So as an example, how to lose weight fast in two weeks. Uh, that's pretty damn specific. I like that one a lot. But if you look at how to lose weight fast with, with exercise, now here, this is a lot more realistic here. This is somebody that understands they're going to have to work out. They understand that the need to actually put some physical effort into it to kind of lose weight quicker than just dieting alone. Um, not that I'm a weight loss guru, but I mean, I've worked out enough to know, although I haven't in a couple of years. So yeah. Oh, well, what is, what the hell, what, what you going to do? So anyways, if we click on that here, uh, we can even find some more results at the bottom here. Look at this, best exercise to lose weight from stomach, uh, exercise to lose weight at home. Uh, geez, that's these are really, really, really specific. Now, when you look at a keyword like weight loss or lose weight, uh, like I first typed in, you know, that's a great keyword, but it's a really, really, really vague, really generic. It's not really specific. It's probably not going to be a keyword that's going to be anything worth writing about or get you any traffic that converts. But if you do a little bit of a deeper dive, like I showed you guys right here, look at this. Best exercise to lose weight from stomach. Exercise to lose weight at home in 10 days. Most effective. I mean, these are really, 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 really specific. And while I'd be willing to bet the search volume is not ridiculously high, let's take a look just for the fun of it here. So I'm going to plug these into um, my keyword research tool. It's actually just a Google uh, keyword planner. Let me bring it over here real quick. I've got two monitors. I'm moving things around. Hold on a second. So we're going to go to reports. I'm going to go to keyword planner. Give me a second here. Uh, we're going to click on search for new keywords using a phrase, website, or category. I'm just going to paste those keywords into here and click on get ideas. And now the data you're going to see here, because I am a paying Google uh, member, I'm paying for, for to, to run ads, they're going to give me more specific data. So I'm going to get the exact search volume here. If you're not paying, you might see something a bit more specific, such as you know, search volume 1,000 to 10,000, for example. But if you look at this, exercise for weight loss at home for female, 2,400 searches per month. And if you look at the, if you hover your mouse over the chart here, you'll see that's been trending up. So from March, just last month of 2017, I'm, I'm filming this on April 8th, 2017, you know, it got, what is that, 5,400 searches per month. Now doing, doing an awesome blog post like this is really 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 ridiculously specific and it's probably also going to be much easier to rank than something more generic like weight loss or lose weight or something silly like that so I'm gonna go ahead and take the same keywords just to show you guys what I'm talking about uh, if we go to Google keyword planner and I'm gonna go ahead and click on the top result right here Give me a second. And it takes a moment to load up. Now, this is an account that I'm not paying with right now. So you're going to see if I do the searches on here, it's going to be a bit more generic. It's still going to give me an idea, but it's not going to give me the exact keyword uh, volume. Uh, see, I'm not running any ads right now on this particular account. So uh, let's give it a moment to load up here. So you'll see it shows, for example, between 1,000 and 10,000 searches. 1,000 and 10,000, 100 and 1,000, 100 and 1,000, I mean. So it's a bit more generic, um, but, it, but it's still pretty good information. So uh, now doing this is a great way to get some keywords, guys. But I'm going to show you a trick. And do me a favor, write this down, take a screenshot. Don't do it now. I want you to finish this video because uh, it's really good stuff here. But if you go to instakeywords.com, that's insta 
keywords.com, um, you do need to sign up for a free account in order to use this for more than one search, but I promise it's worth it. So you go to Insta, Insta Keywords. It takes only a second to sign up using uh, using your Google account. You just click on sign up using Google account and you can type in a keyword like weight loss. And you can type quick for a quick, I believe 20 keywords, or you can type full, which is a bit slower. Now, in this case, I already pre-did this search before I started the video because it takes about three or four minutes, but here is what I came up with. This gave me a list of, da, 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 da. I, I forget the exact numbers because I expanded it before I, I started here, but it's some 600 and some odd keywords or something. So uh, you can do things like you can search for you know, filter, so I can type in the word diet, for example, and look for only keywords relating to diets. Now here's the nice thing though, this tool has an API with either Google or another keyword service. And so you'll see guys, I don't have to be signed into Google for this. It's still giving me an approximate monthly search volume here. Now, uh, in this case, the data I would say is probably not too accurate. I mean, global searches and local searches, of course, local is going to be my country and the good US of A and global is going to be worldwide. It looks like those numbers are the exact same. So I'm going to probably just ignore those. I ignore those numbers. I'm sorry, ignore those two sets of columns here, but that's pretty good information here. So uh, let's take a look here. Okay, sorry, I paused it for a moment here. I was checking, I was comparing the keyword volume here. Uh, with the Google Keyword Planner. For example, weight loss diet, this tool says it gets 600, um, 6,600 searches per month. Uh, the Google Keyword Planner shows quite a bit more than that. So here's what I would do is ignore these searches completely. Okay, ignore those completely. Find the keywords that you like and then plug them in to either the Google Keyword Planner. You can do that in bulk. Uh, or you can even just plug them into like a tool such as Traffic Travis or SEM Rush if you have a paid account. So, so again, ignore these searches here, but just go ahead and go with this data, which is awesome. So you can look at weight loss tips, Jennifer Hudson weight loss. Uh, of course, Mama June's probably down in here. Let's take a look. Oh, Mama June weight loss. Okay, so it's there, but it's not showing any data yet with it. So yeah, guys, it's a pretty kick-ass tool uh, for, for keyword ideas. Again, ignore the search volume numbers here. Those do not seem to be accurate. Let me check one more. Weight loss calculator shows me uh, 49,000 49, a month. The Google Keyword Planner tool shows me, if I check my second monitor, 74,000 which is weird, it does show 49,500 for the month of November. So I'm curious if this is just pulling one month's data. Let me try one more then, hold on. Best weight loss pills. Uh, the number Google gives you just for reference is an average over the past 12 months. So I'm curious, best weight loss pills. Okay, yeah, that's getting uh, 40,500 searches per month. If we look at November, it's uh, 40,500. So it's, it's closer in this in this particular example, um, but these keywords are still not exact. So if you just wanna simply export the keywords to a CSV or an Excel file, that's gonna be something really easy you can do. Yeah, it looks like you can get a paid account for free for one month, one month by trading about them, which is actually pretty cool. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up this uh, data right here, this chart right here. All right, then we've got the keyword list right here. So, I mean, again, if you want to simply sort through these here, uh, I would just ignore the search volume. That data is not really accurate. Um, but, yeah, you can always sort by alphabetical order or whatever you want. But regardless, you know, this is what, how many keywords is this? This is 685 or 684 keywords. Oh, that's just pretty freaking fantastic. So guys, you know what? Uh, obviously you can do the Google method like I showed you. That's a fantastic way to find some pretty kick-ass keywords. And I encourage you to use that particular method. Uh, but I mean, if you also wanna use this particular keyword tool, uh, again, ignore the search volume uh, data. But it's, it looks like a pretty fantastic tool. And I've been using this for a little while uh, without knowing that the accurate, the numbers were not accurate. Anyways, guys, having said that, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching.